This is a little light panel I designed um, for the Radiance Festival in Glasgow. Um, and this is the prototype. This one was intended to be worn by all the marshals um, on, as armbands or little panels on the chests. And it was just so people could find the marshals because the, the whole Radiance Festival was based around um, illuminated exhibits randomly positioned around Glasgow. And you had to explore the whole city, to, this whole city centre to find all the exhibits. So... Um, the, the this was a prototype, and then the next year when these would have been used, um, the whole thing got cancelled due to a funding crisis, and I don't think they ever had it again, which is a real shame because it was just starting to get to its feet, and some of the exhibits were fantastic. However, this um, was it's currently just displaying the Radiance um, logo and the um, sliding message. But it was also going to have, uh, because it's a matrix and because it's controlled by a microcontroller with complete control over all the LEDs, it was also going to do random pulsing effects, like a like sort of random sparkling strobe. And also the various effects, like for instance the middle light lighting and then just shooting out the way and then filling up the whole display, which was, um, t it was actually, that effect was going to be based on an art exhibit called Triptych, which was interactive, interactive walk-up LED screens. However, this uh, this unit runs. It draws. Um, I'll, I'll actually turn the lights off and show you that it's, it's actually quite bright. Maybe just a wee bit too bright, actually, just far too bright, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's visible for miles, um, and very stroby. Hmm. Uh, visible for miles, and the power consumption uh, is approximately thirty milliamps, which means that uh, it's uh, a set of typical, say, for instance. Uh, nickel metal hydride cells be conservative, say 1,800 milliamp hour divided by 30 milliamps means it would run continually for 60 hours. So um, that would have actually done the whole festival, um, which was run over the course of a weekend. But the unit itself, this was a single-sided board for ease of construction. The pick microcontrollers in the front, it would have had two sill resistor arrays, 100 ohm resistors. Um, just on the rows, and the there's no buffer chip. The PIC 12, uh, PIC uh, 16F 627A microcontroller actually drives the LEDs directly in the matrix because um, you, given the number of LEDs, it doesn't really need to be driving them at absolutely full whack. Um, so the current available from any given pin is actually ample enough for scanning a single display. Um, the because it was single sided again. Only one of the vertical axis lines could be done on the circuit board, so the rest were just tacked across as wires. And for the small batch that would have been needed of these, it wouldn't have gone to commercial manufacture. I'd probably have etched them all out myself. But, um, yeah, kind of a shame it didn't happen. It was one of the first things I actually used warm white LEDs in. Some I ended up buying from, from China at the time because uh, they were quite hard to get at that time. But yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I like this. It's a shame it didn't actually go ahead.